All right, so I try to fit this whole thing in here, but I can't fit it. And this is a Rogue Raijin 3 uh, 3060, right? That's what it's called. It's not familiar too much with it, but I do know some of the stuff in here because I was attracted to it. Yes, I don't get too attracted to many things, but this has a freaking monitor. <laughs> it has a great... Man, when I saw this, I saw a Pikachu in there. I was like, holy moly, I could do some stuff with this. Now, I talked about now maybe adding any features, lights, and stuff like that. I the, they, I got these. They came with the, the actual system itself. You know, I was surprised that they didn't have any color RGB or anything like that, but they do have a freaking screen. That was crazy, man. That was awesome. So I I I got this because it's like it was a top of the launch. It, 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 it's supposed to be running good. I hope it does. It's a larger radiator because I'll tell you a story right now. I did a video about a week from this video coming out. It just it was about my last fan installations and oh my god, it blew up because people were telling me I put the fans in the wrong place. And listen, I understand the heat rises. Everything I know that the whole thing it was just for a demo so you guys could see how the the smog goes in and so forth. I didn't. I shouldn't mention it. I didn't mention it, but I cut it out because of the time period. But now I'm gonna redo it with this new fan, and hopefully you guys don't criticize me on this new installation. All right, so let's go ahead and install this. Now, one thing I did like attracted is because um it does have the connections already built in i don't have to reinstall them i hate connecting them and i'll tell you this i've lost these connections i had to rebuy these connections before all right we got the radiator on okay we're getting ready for the actual water cooling system we're going to use the same screws And if you guys are not familiar with how to put this, it tells you right here CPU facing this way. So these two come out, put these in place. Now we're going to set this up in here this way. So you're going to, I'm going to mimic it first. I'm going to test it out first here. You go in here, so we're gonna we're ready to actually set this up. So let's go in. But before we do that, I'm gonna actually run the power connection because once I put this in there, it's gonna be harder for me to plug it in. The piece of resistance. There we go. Get these things ready. off for now. All right, we got it set up. Now we can put the cover back. I think we're going to send one through here. I'm going to send this one through back. Let's set this up in start testing it out and so here we are we are going to test out our machine to see how the actual air flows in here and the only way i can do it is with a smoke machine i have a smoke machine here i'm going to go ahead and turn it on let's see how it goes so it's blowing up right now and this is going out and this is going out these are going in all right but they're not on right now because that's the gpu but look at this really powerful in here. Look at that. So, very simple when I'm using the smoke machine it tells me exactly if I, if everything's working well and this is how I test things out all the time so all right so let me explain to you about the actual water cooling all right the water cooling so you're gonna need an application all right they give you a couple of applications but out of the website they're not very good um, so you got to get armory uh, crate and this one anything to do with the actual devices you can change in here so it did discover devices and if you have multiple devices that are is compatible with this system they automatically show up in here that means you're going to be controlling the actual light 
um, displays and so forth. But because we have a display in here, you could actually add your own or you could use the ones that they have. So let's go in here. Now in the system itself, I'm, I'm actually showing you guys a live view of it. Go to Galactic, right? And we're gonna see it apply. And it just changes the whole atmosphere and you actually see it as we apply it to it. Now they only have two of them right now at the moment. Uh, single information, dual information. Uh, I like the dual information. Triple information, it'll give you a spot. We're gonna put <laughs> Cyberpunk. Uh, we can customize it, make it ourselves, different colors. Uh, you could even add your own picture in here and set up your own um, display here. So right now we're going to use the Cyberpunk. I, I kind of like Cyberpunk. So for now we're going to set it up and say Cyberpunk, you transfer it, and that's pretty much it. Now here you could do customized slideshow, right? It doesn't have to be the one that they currently have. You could actually set up different ones that they have. You, like I said, you could display your own. Duration, five, you change it to a couple seconds. But we're going to do hardware monitoring. Like I said, you could add your own backgrounds to it and your own fonts. You, uh, it's not, it's limited, but it actually gives you good um, information. In fact, in here, we're getting, we could change a couple of temperatures, you know, temperature on the actual system itself, um, uh, the voltage, and then, of course, CPU temperatures. Um, if you want to change it, they have tons of tons of different um, things that you can do and change it. Uh, it's up to you to customize it. All you got to do is hit apply. It'll send it automatically over. Now, out of the box, it's not ready to go. It just has a display pretty much that doesn't show any kind of information. You have to come in here and modify yourself. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.